Blessed day, my people saying so today's video we're gonna talk about bounty killer ex-woman Claudia revealing to the internet that she actually got engaged and it looked like it happened over the weekend, you understand? So she posted a video making the people them know say yeah man, see her man yeah, and Ray TT. So you know a lot of persons are react to it, even bounty killer artists them K Queens are react to the news. So we're gonna talk about it. Also we're gonna talk about Niger boy mother getting involved into this situation after footer hype this Dr. Love on Instagram live yesterday and called Dr love a fish yes more people also we're gonna talk about dr love sending a direct message and obviously this is after footer hype came out and said what he said about him yesterday also we're gonna talk about spice killibang and tommy lee sparta sending a message to vibes cartel and also we're gonna talk about a prophetess sending a serious message to dancehall artist craft and from i said the word prophetess i'm pretty sure we're not gonna know what it's about you know what she has and stuff like that zine but i play the video and you don't know when you can tell me anything all right but before I'm gonna further into the topics. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, head over to my Instagram page, Mix Up Time 4, but I definitely appreciate that. All right, people, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is Bounty One Time Woman. Claudia, you don't know, say she was the most, well, yeah, mother said the most publicized woman who him there with a lot of persons, you don't know, rate Bounty Killer, rate her because them always say a woman, we always dead there and support Bounty and them thing there. Two of them split, we say Bounty goes a woman, delete her picture, she delete film pictures, bam, bam. Now, yesterday, I think yesterday, she goes a boom and make a post showing her being proposed to at a location you understand and of course a lot of persons are react to it will it congratulate her messages and stuff like that but i also shown where she posts in the caption and only can tell me anything you understand and as me say even bounty artists k queens go over there and congratulate her so you can tell that there's no hard feelings because only know k queens rate bounty on a level so when you see them a congratulate her you know say there's no animosity between them which is definitely a good look but let me get to this video now so you can See what I go on, and as usual, my people only can tell me anything. Mm. Hey, Mr. Harris. <laughs> Looking mighty fine, sir. So, yeah, I don't do this, <laughs> but I'm going to do this. What are you doing? I'm going to take a picture. Um, what? First time I ever got on my knees. What, um, what are you doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? You're worth it, baby. Trust me. You're worth it. Come here. Come here. <laughs> I gotta get it sized for you. Oh. I'll take you to the spot to get it sized. Oh. That's okay. So this is what day night was this about. This is day night about my baby. I love you. Oh my. Oh my god. I'm oh. breathless. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my god. Yes, my people, so that is what's taking place. In the caption, she say, from best friend to business partner to lover and fiance, it's a yes all the way. Hashtag power couple. And she put some more heart emojis and stuff like that. Is it? So you don't know, it seemed like a somebody where she know for years. And I guess it just end up develop in a relationship or business partner to relationship and now engage. So I guess we might see other things in the future. Obviously, wedding bells, maybe kids, I don't really know. But anyway, my people, after she posts that, you don't know, K-Queens in the comment section and say, congratulations, mama, you see it, and she heart the emo um, she put a heart emoji there. She like what them say and stuff like that, you see it. Obviously, persons are over there, um, you know, calling Bounty name. We don't know people are going to call Bounty name. That is no, nothing we no feel even surprised about, you see it? And I guess some persons never even knew Seshi and Bounty left, which is kind of weird because obviously the two of them delete half picture. But I guess some people don't really follow up social media, so that's kind of understandable. Anyway, my people, that is what's taking place over there right now. Claudia feel nice, like a brand new woman. <laughs> 
Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Next thing we're going to talk about is Dr. Love sending a serious message as it relates to Futa Hype. This is him. You understand what I say? And I'm just going to get to the message right now. And you can tell me what you think. You see it? And of course, before me even play the message, in case you don't know what's going on, Futa Hype got live yesterday and he was very upset after finding out that Niger Boy manager was Dr. Love. And you know, say Niger Boy sang continent around the place right now upon the dirty money with him. So, Futa Hype must reach out. I'm not sure why if I dub him one time, if him just want to bless him up. But when him come for find out, say, Dr. Love and manage him, Futa Hype was furious. Him go live and him call Dr. Love but him and all kind of things. Is it? So, this is what Dr. Love has to say in response. Mm -hmm. People morning. Happy Monday. Happy birthday to Niger boy. People, listen. I know you guys been calling. You guys been sending text messages. Yeah, what happened? With the panel focus on music. Music with the pan, you understand what I say? So there's nothing can derail us under any circumstances. A long time we had to do it and I just feel So big up on yourself. You don't know how to see everything, but we not pay attention to the negative, positive, straight, 2024. That's how we did. Dr. Love to the world. And happy birthday to Niger boy. You see me, people, I got you all your messages. People been texting, calling. People now have time for negative. You see, when you run a company, that's why you got lawyers. And you do things the right way. You don't get involved into certain things and back and forth with people. You understand? It's 2024. When a new part, we're on different things. So guess what happened? I'm not ignoring your messages. It's just that, guess what happened? I'm dealing with what I'm supposed to deal with. I met the liar. I deal with what I need to deal with. See me? I say, big up on yourself. One love, that love to the world. Remember, continent boss. And make sure you go out and um, get Anthony B. new song. Um, Blessings that flow by Anthony B. Just released on the 5th of this month. See? Bless up. One love. Yeah, my people, so you don't know it seem like Dr. Lover got take the high road, but it seems like he's also going to take things into the, what do you call it now, the legal path. Yeah, he might go the legal route. So, from a legal route, you know, there might be a lawsuit coming in. I don't really know. You understand what I say? Um, so, let me know anything about this, you know. Why Dr. Love go on dating, yeah, man, because at the end of the day, um, you know, Mother said you was one of them who believe in a Niger boy upon a level. Yes, it. And also, people, the song we might talk about with Anthony B, you can go check out that as well. You understand what I say? Um, it depends on all of the streaming platforms and things. Anyway, my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. Is it? Um, also, since we're on the topic of Niger boy, Niger boy mother actually got involved into this whole conversation. And the man mother is very upset as it relates to the things that my foot hype say about Dr. Love. You understand what I say? Now, foot hype did say him know Niger boy a long time. A female, Z. Now, when him say female, I guess Niger boy used to the upper Salvation Army. And Salvation Army, they pan Man in Zill Road or half Man in Zill No, yeah, and Man in Zill Road, Z. Now, you know, foot hype come from Cassava P. So, seem like him might know him long time. Zin, I not the same name before Dr. Love, but you don't know him, say what him say on him. You know, him did a promote the song, but him say, since Dr. Love manage him, him now go play the song Continent Pandy Dotty Money Rhythm. You understand what I say? Now, Niger Boy Mother, you don't know, she see what I go on on the internet and she basically forward for Blaze of Fire. She has say, yo, if Futa Hype did believe in him from them time, they would make Futa Hype never take him up on all these things. Niger Boy Mother actually has speak out and it seemed like she really appreciate what Dr. Lover do for him as it relates to believing in her son and all of these things. So, I play the video and when you can tell me what you think. Mm -hmm. Mind them business. God bless you and guide you for bring forth a talented artist in this world because nobody never know where him was or where him was there. And you bring him go through all of your pain and your suffering and everything and bring him come here. And now you see the result of it. You live for see it and that is the greatest thing. You understand? Mm -hmm. And for see all of the, for see the negative and what's going on and all of that, you know the pain and suffering. You understand? So, no, and nobody at all blighting this boy future. Nobody at all. They don't want blighting his future. They need to leave him alone. That's is what they need to leave him alone. Me never know. Don't want this nobody, you know. Me not want this nobody. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I've gone. That's the problem. Me you know. Me not want this nobody because me talk it all the time. Me say me not know where this man come from, you know. Me not know where this man come from. Me never help him not cross the road. So yet I put him in a basic school. Me not know not about put a eye, you know. I don't want to go for the iPad door and call for the iPad name. I don't want to go for the iPad door. Right. 
You know, know nothing at all about him, but you see, when can you come out and then make certain remarks, make sure so you know exactly what you have about before you talk about my child. Make sure. Me now sit back and make nobody take what I feel. Me now make nobody disrespect him. Me now make nobody take as a me. Bring him come where you have to wait in there. Me never left him apart. Right. I look, look oh. how long, look how long. Yeah. You know, there's so many ignorant people call me all day, you know. But as me say, where well, we live in America, right? We live in our law system, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, we live in our law system. Prove what you know. You have to prove what you know. Ex prove what you know. Exactly. You're not just come contact things about people and try to tarnish other people when you're talking things about people. Nobody never asked you. Nobody never asked him to comment. It's like you say the man they go shine and you just they try you you, you, you they go take his shine. That is what he, that is what he is basically doing. Yeah. You they go no. take his shine. You they go try put on something funny in him and not do that stuff. You don't do that. Yeah, I didn't know something there. Me I tell me that's a lot of voting, you know, me. Me that's a lot of voting because there's something about you know long way I work and there's no negative to COVID. <laughs> Everything and how much song release and them not say nothing. They not say one word about nothing at all. They never play a song yet. Never take up a song and play. They never give him a drink of water yet. They never bring him cross the road. They never put him a bed. They never do nothing at all. They like alone bring him. But then people get up and people feel like they can hold conversation and tarnish people name and whatever they feel like say it is what it is. You live in America and when you live in America, you have to come and prove to the justice system. What do you know? Oh, you, you have to, what do you know? What do you prove for you have? You don't do things like that to people. Yeah. You have to come prove no, to the you court. You can't do what things do you know? like that, people. And in a talk like this, in, 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 in a beef, like, you hear people are coming, the, 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 the family is to be blamed. The family is to be blamed but for what? For what? What, what, what? what? Me and family. Me and family. What me to blame for? Hmm? Oh. What blame yeah. for? Some, some people sit down and they waste their life. They waste their life and then bring down other artists. Right? Bring down other people because they don't shine and they, they feel like say, people stop them from when they're in their life. And they try to jam me out. They can't jam me out. But me know, say, this is a one time a boy have to come turn up in front of the land and come tell me what it is. You have to of come. course. You have, you have to come in front of the land. Come tell me, come tell the judge what it is. Me, me hear this something and me say, I was so freaking upset. I said, but what kind of nonsense this? What kind of nonsense is this? If you even have something to say, say it directly to him if you have something to say. You go go past social media platform, a chat, a chat thing for you not know. A chat nonsense. Eh? You don't do, do that. You have to talk or you know talk facts. Not just come from social Social media, they can talk like I say, you, you, you're big and bad and whatever. Every, you are every, put, a, put a everybody in a war. He needs to go sit down, man, and leave people alone. He needs to go and go sit down and leave people alone. Because my people still no open your chicken back and the tin mackerel was still no own. Right. So, I mean, I go on. Yeah, exactly. The man, did I say for three days, the man sang release. Yes, he must be too nice. Right. It must have to be nice. So I uh, enough to get no shine. You have to put you have to put yourself in a nigger things. You have to put yourself in a nigger things. When your son when your son do his song, he you know, nothing to do with me, you nobody, at the at the producer, and him sitting and writing song pen and paper. Him sitting right. and write pen and paper. Right? And the producer decide to do what he want to do and then get up and then my try to take credit and whatever it is and blah 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 and all of that. And then show them see you to move and me and move and whatever it is. But a boy have to come prove to the court system what the problem is. You have to come of prove course. to the court. You can't have just come 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 talk things about people and what you, what you don't know. You, you can't do that. You don't do stuff like that. You think that's a nonsense. You don't do that. And a bad man can look how long. Remember, look, you know, long work I go on and music I put out. And then been watching. So why have a sudden now? From before COVID, from the COVID. All of us, all of us, sudden, all of us, sudden, he, he, he take up, they take up the man thing. 
you take up the man thing. Why can never take up a long time? You since you know all of that, why can never give the blind man the information a long time ago? <laughs> you should have given him the information a long time ago. We go wait until now. When time stop look like you go up to the man. Is that they try to stop the man show up? That's not how you deal with things. You have something to say, you call the man directly and so you have to say to the man. Eh? You got to put out things by social media where you don't know. You don't know. You don't have any proof of anything. You have to come prove to me. Him have to come prove to me. Say you are fish. Him have to prove that to me before me believe. <laughs> hey, him have everybody to prove that to me. Everybody have fish in you know? Everybody in the world have fish in mm. Everybody. Everybody him have to prove, prove to me. Him have to prove to me. Say you are not straight nation. Him have to prove that to me. Yo. Yo. Me say, remember me tell you this. Him. Me a one boy will tell him, say, him have to come sit in front of the courthouse. And that is a must. And that is a promise. That is a promise. And if me not give no other promise, that is a promise. Him have to come sit in front of the courthouse. And he better yeah, make man. sure... Better make sure some paperwork in America straight. And better make sure it's legit in America. And better make so sure. Carmen man, he has seen one of this. Carmen man, he seen one of business man. He need to leave people alone. See, I mean, a regular so, something or like that. Me no want get for nobody. Me no want them get me for this side when it's it fire like dragon. We not. No want them get me for the side. But, me along, that was just now, we're in 2024, and guess what happened? Then say, not drink a tea when we just sit down and make everything around that. He can't stop, he can't, he can't stop nothing. Nothing can never stop. Because you, you have to bust yourself and prove yourself, right? Because then drag everybody go left, right, and center, and things that demand everybody depend on the same category when you're not on the same category. And as everybody come out and I do good, then find a way to fight against somebody where I do good because them now do good. Everybody have them chance in their life and feel, you know. But at the end of the idea, of America this and Jamaica this and you have to come sit in front of the judge and tell the judge what is the problem. And you better have money for peer too. You better have money for peer. You see what I mean? So terrible, man. So terrible. Otherwise, otherwise, and that one never pan in life. Oh, I mean, you know, the one story, the, I'm glad we get up on the life, the one story, when me want you to tell them we have up on the life. When your son born, mm -hmm. when you tell the one story that come from you, when your son born, what happened? Because people don't understand. When he born, what happened, what you mean? When, like when, when time you born, he man, he dropping at the bed pan? Eh? <laughs> yeah, and, <laughs> When you buy what happened, tell them, tell them what happened when you buy because people don't. Yeah, my people, so that is what's taking place right about now as it relates to Niger Boy's mother. Um, we never know for some people, you see it. And at the end of the day, foot I found out and said, Dr. Love, this and him a fish and all them things. Zin people, I never see the man I do nothing with my own eyes yet. Zin, me not there for style, no man. Me not there for pitness side. You understand? Dr. Love believe in the youth and, you know, him, 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 him. The youth basically get a little bus now, so. You know, it would have look away if the man switch management or whatever it may be. But you know how foot hype stay. Once him feel like a person is that you know, fruity or whatever, I'm going to blaze a fire. You see it, so. I don't know what else to say. More than the youth are going good. In Sun Continent, in video, I should say, are going good. 700 thousand views on YouTube. It's going to reach a million before the week done. And everybody can agree that the best song on the Dirty Money Rhythm and appear positive things their own Niger boy name. You understand? You know, certain things their own the youth, the controversy for try to kill the, the, the vibe on the song, yeah. Yes, yeah, it's so I just that that, that are the mess up thing we are going right now. But anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is a prophetess who is now speaking out as it relates to dancehall artist craft. You understand? And you don't know so this woman is not the first time. I don't think it's the first time she speak out as it relates to artists, you understand, and maybe like certain vision where she get and all these things. So Craft is the latest person, I guess you can say that, where where, where she has speak out on and things. So let me get to this video right now, my people, and only can tell me anything about what she's saying in the comment section. Mm -hmm. Craft. Craft, craft, craft. I got a vision last night about craft. Hmm. 
And for those who don't know who Kraft is, he's a Jamaican artist that influences the youth to do a lot of evil. Last night, I got a vision of Kraft sitting around what looks like a labor laboratory. However, it was not so much of a laboratory. It was like endless TV screens befront him. So much so they made a, made a semicircle around him. His face was painted like a clown, which the spirit behind him is the Joker. The spirit behind him is the Joker. But his, his face was painted like a clown. And the Bible warns us not to put paintings on our face. Right? Many people think that means makeup, but makeup is not painting. Makeup is just a beautification adhesive. Painting is something tribal that heathens would normally do. Like, look in Africa, tribal thing that is not. They serve other gods. They profess to serving and doing things not related to Christianity is a joke the joker spirit and anyone remember the joker you remember that he was a narcissist controlling greedy for fame toxic his way of loving was dramatic and crazy that's a spirit behind craft that is why he likes the darker side of stuff. He had this thing that looked like a game console in his hand. And he was just looking so grim. As though he felt I was calling his name too much. But what he don't understand is that he's looking at me. But I'm not the one calling his name really. It is God that is opposing him because he's made himself a Gentile. And God doesn't like Egyptians. He doesn't like Gentile. When you... When you start to show God that you serve other gods and you depend on other gods and you only live for other gods, you become an enemy. So when you hear believers talk about you, it is really God that keeps putting you in their mouth, in their mind. When you try to defeat them, the reason why you can't, you, be, you look at them. Oh, I'm going to stop her, stop him. But really, it's not them that you fight. <laughs> you fight who sent them and you can't defeat who sent them. So when I awoke, I decided to go and look at his spade because the Lord was leading me. I wanted to understand more about who he is because I know Kraft, but I don't listen to him. I don't know anything about him. So I went to look. Randall. Huh? Yeah. It's Randall. Tevin Randall. No. I don't know why he didn't use that name, but... um. According to him, he's a man that wants to do what he wants to do. So I researched him. And it's, it, they asked him in his autobiography, How do you prepare for your performances? And your artist replied, Everything and energy. He said, I'm dark in a real life. So I don't want to be around any other energy who might see me. But him am there because... They might see him, but him devil see them because him not there. I'm talking to the third person because I don't want to put me in that position. He says he's around at one part. Him just have to segregate himself and chat to him dopey them. Now they asked him again, what has been the highlight of your career so far? And him said, the Buddha them, the way the fans them take on to the music and the energy I don't do this for fame at the Buddha them no what you don't understand Mr. Tevin Randall okay before I go any further let me tell you the meaning of Buddha a stupid person the example they give here is the exam was so easy. You'd have to be a real Buddha to fail it. Now he says 
he has to segregate himself because all you see him here, him don't dare. Which means that the person that keeps performing is the spirit that he works with. Who you hear is a spirit. Who relates to you is a spirit. Now you have to be a real sentimental minded person to understand this. He says that he always separates himself to be with his dopidem. This is not a figure of speech. And he said he's not doing it for the fame. It's the Buddha them. Buddha being stupid. The stupid people them were stupid enough to listen to this music. The Buddha them. Which is you. His fans that love him so much. You are the Buddha. Right? Now many of you going to think it's trending to be a Buddha for an artist. Yeah, but. Don't be a Buddha that goes to hell. Because the artist can't save you. Don't be a pretty dolly Buddha that goes to hell because he's lost looking fame outside of God. So the devil is now using him and the spirit is talking through him. Yeah. And the spirit is saying straight up, he's not even doing it for the fame because spirit don't want no fame. It's just to win your soul. I just for the Buddha them. He's, in another part, he said, he see that you were going through some stuff and you want a voice and so become the voice. It simply means that Satan is always available for those who are hungry for a certain level of exposure and fame. The Buddha them. Example. Now, Tevin Randall, the message the Lord has for you is stop leading the people astray. You're going to pay dearly. Stop worshipping idols. You're not the only one. But what you guys do. You have been used by Satan mightily. To make songs that are contrary to where God wants to take his people. And it is trending. And you don't understand. You think it's just life. Make money. Blah, blah, blah. So the Lord is sending understanding. That you might think that some man can't be reasoned with. Because some man blah, blah, blah. You might. No, the Lord wants to know you don't have no power. Yeah, the devil is giving you a minute of power till he destroys you. Before he destroys you, don't allow him to. And he's using you. So if you have 10 followers, he uses you to win 10 souls. And I presume you have more than that. So he is using you to win all those people, to get them to believe in witchcraft, to get them to believe in evil, to get them to believe in what you believe in, which is not of God. So you're leading all those people astray. Your fans are your responsibility. And you're leading them astray. Now many artists believe that they don't play a part in society because parents this and parents do that. But I want to tell you that you're going to pay a bigger price than you think. Because parents go to work, children go to school. Children stay at home, parents go to work. When children are at home, children go on YouTube. They see craft, they see... Roger Wilde, they see Villian, they see Jada, they see Gunman, they see Badman, they see Thief. What you need to do is let them not be able to see, but you're so busy making money for yourself. You don't care about the Buddha them because you have them as stupid people. Right? The Buddha them, stupid enough for love that you're ruining their destinies. So the parent can't be around when they're at the bus stop. Parents can't be there. When they're in the car stop. Parents can't be there. So it means that we all play a vital role in what the kids are exposed to. You want to protect your very own children. And it is evident that you can't if you don't protect them. You want to cut the branches but the tree keeps growing. You got to root out the tree completely. You got to stop promoting vain music. The Bible describes crafty people as vain. The Bible describes crafty people as vain. Right? We all have to understand that it's all fun and games. We all think that we're tough. And we can do all things and we can't be brought down and whatever. But it's called being stupid. Because God has power over you. Repent. So yes, my people, after listening to that video, what do you guys think about what this prophetess is saying as it relates to dancehall, artist, craft, and you don't know the warning and all of these things, is it? 
And you can tell me if you don't agree or not in the comment section, all right? All right, so the next thing we're going to talk about is um, Spice, Skilly Beng, and Tammy Lee Sparta sending a message to Vibes Cartel. You understand, people? And of course, you know, say yesterday was Vibes Cartel, Earth Strong, is your man say, Gaza Boss turn was 48 years of age. So I actually get to the post where Spice make first, and then we we'll move on to Tammy Lee Sparta, and then we we'll move on to Skilly Beng, is it? So what Spice did was post up. You know, a couple of photos and videos with her and, well, photos with her and Vibes Cartel and you don't know some videos with her performing on stage and you don't know she represent for Vibes Cartel and all of that, is it? In the caption, she said, I celebrate you every day and everywhere I go, rain or sunshine, but today is just more special. Happy birthday, Vibes Cartel, greatest of all time. Thank you for feeding my family, and also a very special happy birthday to my little sister as well, Fenis Hamilton. You hardly take pictures, so I don't have much to post, but I still have to remind you that I would die for you. Today is a very big day, so you don't know she celebrate Cartel birthday and her sister birthday in a one. Two of them birthday upon the same day. Is it? Mm -hmm. So it's definitely a good look. Vibes Cartel did even um, respond to, Car um, to Spice and say, Thanks, my queen. Nothing but love for you, mama. Nothing but love and love alone, mama. Mm -hmm. So we we'll are move on to the post that Tammy Lee Sparta make, right? So I post up a video with him, the on stage, Cartel, Beanie Man. I think Beanie Man did on it as well, is it? And I guess that's the... First time I'm performing at Kingston and a Vibes Cartel actually give him the talker phone for perform. So you don't know him post up that video and him say, The day my life changed upon Vibes Cartel birthday in the building. First time performing in Kingston. Didn't know this man from nowhere and look upon the effort and love he showed. He showed. Works can ex. I guess he wants to say words. Words can express me general. No future center road from me and my family. Just to make you know we appreciate every single thing you do for we. Hashtag respect in all aspects. All a big happy birthday, yeah. Vibes Cartel, freedom of a come. Your heart too good. Hashtag hero. Hashtag Gaza. Hashtag member good. So you don't know a lot of persons optimistic as it relates to the Gaza bars freedom next month. Anyway, moving on to Skilly Beng now. <laughs> so Skilly Beng posts up that photo today, you see, the king and the prince. And in the caption, him say, you never know who you can inspire. Big up my teacher, Vibes Cartel, straight. Um, you inspire and teach me without even knowing me. I'm still grateful for that. You never train a scout, you train an elite soldier. So I'm sorry for who no want to see your name and your legacy. Because I don't tell them the east side I represent Gaza till death and after. More life at Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel respond and say, Respect and man is killy. Upness me killy. And him tag skilly bang. Burp or burp or whatever. Yeah, see it, my people. So... That is what's going on. You don't know a lot of persons did pay respect to Vibes Cartel upon his birthday. You see it. Bounty are one of them. We talked about that yesterday. And Popcorn are one of them. You see it. So, that's that. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.